Yeah, I think that's when, um, you know, mindfulness and meditation and the practices of mindfulness help us to tap into that intuition. And, mm-hmm. and it's really created a tremendous amount of health in my life. Like I didn't, you know, I started practicing before I started practicing yoga. I ate pretty good. You know, um, you know, I probably drank a little too much, you know, maybe ate a little bit too much red meat or this or that and not enough like vegetables and grains. And then naturally through the yoga practice and through meditation, I just started wanting to eat healthier. And wanting to maintain, I guess, that that physical um, vibrancy as well as the mental clarity that these practices brought me. And um, so I, I just think that another uh, toot for uh, mindfulness and meditation, John, to help us just like kind of get understand and kind of get in. I feel so much of us because of you know how we're continually hijacked digitally and we're always being pulled in a million directions because of the messaging that's out there and the marketing and the communication and the news that we lose touch with our body and, mm-hmm. and yoga and meditation or just even getting to the gym is going to help us tap into this inherent brilliance that's on the inside. If we just get quiet and listen, and I think you might have a better opportunity of, of taking on a healthier lifestyle, by just sitting and being mindful a little bit every day or doing some mindful movement. 